My intention for mass is Helen Pencala. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will raise first. Then we who are alive, who are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response also on the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exalt. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to the custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day he stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah he unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down and in the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing and all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, surely you will quote me for this proverb. Physician, cure yourself and say, do here in your native place all the things that were done in Capernaum. And, said, and he said, amen I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah once was sent, but only to the widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon. And again, there were many leopards in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Nahum the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through their midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, in the first reading that we have heard, St. Paul is trying to explain a mystery that is the mystery of death and resurrection. So this reading we used to have it on funeral mass because he says that we don't want to, to be unaware about those who have fallen asleep so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. When we don't understand what happens with, with a person who dies, then the pain is even greater because we are all human and we are imperfect. So there will be a day when our body will die. Even though if we are in good health, there will be a moment when it's, it, it says like, of the blink on an eye, we will die in that way because we, um, our body is like this. So our body is like a um, field of energy and there is a moment when it goes off. And we don't know that day, we don't know that moment. So Plato was a philosopher from um, Greece before many, many years before Jesus Christ. And he was talking about this reality. And he said that the soul is inside the body, but jailed. It's like I have my soul in my body trapped, living there. When my body dies, my soul goes to a place that Plato called the world of the ideas. And in that place, there, were, there, there was a being named the one and then, if my soul was worthy to be before the one, he will receive me and I will become one with the one. But if my soul was not uh, worthy to be with him, he will send me to um, another being. The name is Demiurgo, but I don't know if it in English is Demiurge for that word, but the Demiurge was the matter maker. And he will take that soul and will send it back to the earth, to another body. And 
Plato be um, believed in the reincarnation. We don't believe in reincarnation. We, we believe in resurrection. But St. Augustine took his theology from Plato, and that's why his belief was similar that we believe. So I do believe is, my brothers and sisters, that we have our soul in our body, and our soul is immortal. Our soul belongs to God. God has given us our soul when we were born. So that soul needs to be with, with his creator. That's why we have that thirst of God, because our soul has thirst of God. So there would be a time when God will say, my soul come to me, but my body will remain here because my body is matter. But Jesus taught us when he was resurrected from the dead that we will have our body together with our souls. But our body will, won't be a matter one. It will be a glorious body. And we believe in that. And this is the hope that, it, that uh, the Apostle Paul is talking about. So don't grieve in the way that the one who, don't, who don't, doesn't have any hope. Because if I don't have hope in resurrection, then why I am here preaching to God and making sacrifices? So we are here because we believe that one day if we die, we will be resurrected from the dead and we will be there enjoying eternal life with our God that we are worshiping today. My brothers and sisters, with confidence in God's goodness, let us turn to him with our needs. For all who are discerning the call to a religious vocation, may the Holy Spirit give them the courage and grace to respond generously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Policy makers, may the Lord of life inspire them, affirm them to a desire to protect life in all stages, from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who grieve, may the hope of life in Christ bring them comfort and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faith, this faith community this afternoon, may Christ lead us to an ever-deepening love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who experience difficulties and tragedies in the Hurricane Ida in the western the southwestern part of the United States, this in uh, New Orleans and Mississippi in that area, that they may experience help from their neighbors and the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our individual intentions and petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, look with favor, we pray. Upon the petitions we bring you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it, what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us full salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a Lord worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters,
Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously may grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another the sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no word that I should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm in our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To do we cry, send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn down, most gracious of the gate, the eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven Parish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with each person. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>